Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Prue or Prue LaRue and I got something really exciting in the mail yesterday. I bought this from Enchanted Lustre, Lustre Cosmetics. They're Australian, I believe based in Melbourne and it's my first like trichrome shade I've ever had. So we're gonna wear this today. I actually don't like the way this swatches. It looks cool there. Oh yeah, like a nice light shade. Look how much fun is that? And then I also picked up some Inglot shades the other week. I think I should have already hauled these by the time you see this. And then I've got some more shades from Enchanted Lustre. So today the main focus is going to be the Myth Prism. What is this one? So this one is Elf. And then Afterlife, this is part of their Halloween collection. So Afterlife, Elf, Myth Prism. All kind of duochrome-y, triochrome is fun. But our main, our main one today that I'm going to play with is that Myth Prism. So it's got a very brown base in it, so I'm just going to do a really brown eye, really. Anyway, so I'm going to go in with these colours from Think. And look, I've been labelling everything. Saving the right way up for you? That's the wrong way. I've been like on a label. Just like going crazy with the labeler. So going on with the Jessup brush. I'm going to go in with 283. Just like a nice mustard brown. Oh, um, I primed my eyes with that MAC paint pot and soft ochre. And I couldn't be bothered setting it. I love the English shadows, there's just no dramas going on. Three oh five, same brush. Just a dab dab in that corner. And bring it up into our crease. I'm struggling a little bit with the lighting right now. Should I bring you in a bit? You can see how shitty my... I mean, it's okay. I'm just gonna go into something a bit softer. The Mad Chica Hoodle. GSN 10. Well, I'm actually in a rush, so I'm going to blame that on my problem today. Just because I can. Voila. Alright, and then I'm just going to go straight in with the finger because I don't have too much time to fluff about. With Myth Prism. Okay. It just is like, it looks all kind of crazy colours. This is my first triochrome, and I bought this because Amy Loves Makeup put it in her indie Will I Buy It series. And I was like, Australian makeup? I didn't even know that was like, I didn't realise. And she actually keeps mentioning like Australian cosmetic brands now in the indie ones, which is really interesting. So I was disappointed with this when I first got it because when I swatched it, it's so brown. But on the eye, it is beautiful. Ooh, so pretty. And then I'm just going to go in with, I'm going to use Afterlife. I think that'll look alright on the inner corner. So I'm going to put 283, the mustardy brown again. Alright, I feel like this bad. 
done. I'm just going to do mascara. This is like a super, not too much stress look. I just wanted to play with it. I feel like I've got to quickly do brows. I like, I just can't. You can't do all of this and then not finish the game, really, can you? And like, I got like this ridiculous pimple right there. What are you doing there, pimple? It's like even in a bad spot to pick or do anything fun to. So I'm just leaving it and pretending it's not there. I just need a little bit of blush and then this look is done. I know you'll be like, what? That's all you're doing? Yes, it's one of those days. And I'm just feeling, well, I just wanted to play with makeup. So I'm going with MAC Select uh, Extra Dimension Selected. quickly do something on those lips. Let's go Kylie Dazzle. Hmm, gross, you can see my spray. <laughs> Going with Colourpop Scorpio Moon. I'll be back later to tell you how it wore. Oh, let's just bring you in. Let's just stop this. I'm sorry, this is pretty much daylight you're looking at right now. Really interesting. I love that. I just love the effect. Um, I'll be back. Let you know how it wore. Hello and welcome back. Let's just do a little quick checkeroo. I have topped up my lipstick. And I'm pretty sure we've got no loss of shadow. Oh no, it's there. Cleaner on this side, but there's still like definite creasing on the sides, just a little bit. But it's really hard to tell with this shadow. So this is my first time using like a trichrome eyeshadow, and it's been fun. I love looking at it and seeing all the changes in color that it does, that it catches, and it just makes for a really interesting eye, which I don't think will come up on channel. Oh, I mean, this is like really unique packaging. I've not really seen anything like this. Oh, it's super cute. The shadow formula is feels like the soft powdery. It feels a bit drier than like the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. It's a pretty color, a nice formula. It was fifteen dollars fifty Australian. It's so quite expensive, but definitely worth having in your collection. I feel like I might like it more if a different colour besides like the that brown was the base. But this is really nice and I definitely recommend Enchanted last year. Shipping was definitely a bit slow. I think it was about three weeks before they posted it and then got here within like a week. I think they're made to order, so that's kinda cool. Alright, well, thanks for watching. So a bit more chilled out. But definitely recommend checking out these shadows. I haven't tried any other trichrome from other brands, so I don't have a comparison. But definitely worth checking out, especially if you're in Australia. A little bit cheaper shipping, I think. Then some, a lot of the US ones cost about $20 shipping. And this was like $10 shipping, which is not bad. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Uh -huh.